This is a piece of unedited film. Well, this is just a tape made from a piece of unedited <coughs> film. Uh, we brought this back from Russia, and it was not used in the NOVA program. We simply ran out of room, that's all. We only had an hour, and we had six hours of, of film we could have used. But I think this experiment is particularly uh, interesting. It was a scientific test. Ta-da! We had a, the lady you see there is a PhD in chemistry, and she, um, Oh, well, it's very efficient, very widely respected. It's published all these. Uh, so we got a whole list of her scientific papers that she had published and such. So she's the bee's news. And um, <laughs> she declared to us that this test was a chemical scientific test that she did several times with this man, and there's no known explanation of this in science. Now, some of you, if there are any of you here that know anything about chemistry, the very basic chemistry, you may begin to tumble to what's happening. When I saw it, I'm looking and thinking, it can't be that. Is it really that that she's doing? She had two little dropper bottles, and the dropper bottles had labels on them. One said H, the other said OH. The liquid in them was clear. There was a third bottle over here, different shape and size. It had a dark, dark blue dye. It looked like ink. And she had a beaker. Beaker, and she had a container of distilled water, and she wanted to read out to us where the distilled water came from, the factory, the whole thing, the date that it was bottled, as if this is important. This is getting, <coughs> looking at the wrong thing altogether. You see, you're, you're not looking at the end of the gun, you're looking at the guy's shoelaces. Um, <laughs> so she's got the bottle and she read off all the potassium content in it and the whole business, and I didn't care. She said, get on with it. So she put water in halfway up the beaker, which is about so big like that, and she put it on a little stir. It looks something like a blender, but what it is is you drop a, a capsule, it's a glass capsule, into the liquid, and that has a bar magnet in it, and there's a rotating bar magnet underneath. So what this does is swirl it around like crazy. It's a standard thing they use in the laboratory to keep things agitated, stirring them. Instead of sitting there with a spoon, you do, do this business, and it stirs around. And as you'll see, you'll see what the gentleman does to this. She put a drop of the blue liquid into this water. And that dyed it like it looked like three or four drops of ink in a, in a container of water, so it's bright blue. And the gentleman sat there and hmm, mumbled away in, in Russian and made various prayers and whatnot and gestured and the whole business. And slowly, as you'll see here, uh, the liquid turns slightly green and then greener and greener and finally, boom, bright lemon yellow. I don't know whether you quite see that on this film selection, but I hope so. Turns bright yellow, and he leans back and relaxes, and that's supposed to be a miracle. Well, she takes the yellow, that goes, puts it down, and she takes a drop from the OH bottle, and she goes, bark, and do it like that, and it changes back into blue, and she puts it on the stir, and he does it all over again. Now, you here's rescue. Come on, come on, come
long and just have to change the color light to like his lamps. Okay, thank you. That'll do it.